Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. Today we'll be UV unwrapping our gas pump. And I'll show you the different ways to UV unwrap and really take you through the full process without speeding up too much. Um, there's a lot to unwrap though, so let's jump right in and get started. All right, let's start. Um, the first thing I wanna do is uh, change up my workspace. So I'm gonna go to the upper right corner here. On the workspace dropdown, I'm gonna choose UV editing. So this workspace is great for UV unwrapping. On the left here, we have our perspective view, so this viewport. Um, to the right of it, we have the UV editor window. And then to the right of that, we have the UV toolkit along with some other tabs. And what I'm going to do now is just pick an object to unwrap, and we're going to UV unwrap our fuel nozzle, which is actually made up of a bunch of parts, which will allow us to learn the different methods of UV unwrapping as well. So let's select this back piece and isolate it. So click on this icon. And now what we want to figure out is what method works best for this. And when you have a shape that's fairly primitive like this, we can try the automatic method. So go up to the UV tab and choose automatic. And there you go. It's pretty much unwrapped for us. I'm going to go into UV shell mode next. And there's an option here. It's this last icon. But what I'd like to do is use Maya's marking menu. So I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and choose UV shell. And now as I hover over these shells, you can see them light up. And they also light up in this window as well. So if I were to, say, hover in this window, they light up the shells now. What we can do, though, is take a look at it. And we can actually um, make this into one shell. So over here, we have this one and this one. And we can sew up the seam at the top here. Um, if you don't see these white edges, the seams, just click on this icon. Make sure this is uh, selected. This will highlight the texture borders. All right, now let's go into edge mode. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button to go to edge mode. And I'm gonna select this edge here, which is this seam over here. What I wanna do with this is sew that up. So under the cut and sew option, we have something called sew, and we have something called also move and sew. We're gonna choose move and sew. And what this does is it'll sew that up and move the shells together. All right, let's go back into UV shell mode. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, go to UV shell. And now what I want to do is unfold these shells. So let's select them. And over on the right here, we have this unfold dropdown. Choose unfold. And now our shells are unfolded. And what I want to do is just maybe orient these shells a bit better, make them a bit straighter. And down here at the bottom, we have this arrange and layout option. And we have this orient shells option. So let's click on this just, just to see what it does. And it straightens the shells out a bit for us. Um, and what we can do is do a stack and orient if we want. And this will orient, but also stack them and keep them a little more contained. And now we can scale them down and move them out of the way and um, basically out of the way of our main UV space. And we can uh, UV unwrap another piece. So let's go into object mode. Um, in this window, hold down the right mouse button, choose object mode. And what I want to do is unisolate, and we'll do this piece at the bottom here, this bottom cap, which is actually the same as this one, so we can use the same method. Go up to UV, automatic, and again, I'm going to grab that edge. Up here, we have some of the options, but I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, go to edge mode, and choose edge, or select that edge, I should say. And now what I want to do is move and sew, but this time, I'm going to hold down shift, the right mouse button to get to this marking menu and choose move and sew. There we go. And now let's grab these shells. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, go to UV shell, grab everything. And we can do an unfold here and a stack and orient, but I'll also show you the uh, hotkeys, right? So it's shift right mouse button and we can unfold and unfold. And we can also do a stack and orient with the same hotkeys as well. So hold down shift, right mouse button, and stack and orient shells. There we go. Let's scale these down and move it off um, out of the way as well. Let's go back into object mode. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, choose object mode, and let's um, pick another piece. This time, let's do this one. I'm gonna isolate this one this time. And this one here, I can easily do the automatic method on this one, but I wanna show you the planar method as well and how that works. So. With the planar method, 
we need to know which direction these faces are facing. And the object needs to be fairly planar as well. It needs to face um, in those axes, axes um, fairly directly. So what I'm going to do is figure out, so this direction is my um, x-axis and this one is my z-axis. So what I can do with this is go into face mode. I'm going to select this top face and I'm going to hold down shift and double click this one. And now it's selected all those faces and I want to do projection in that x-axis. I can actually select both sides if I want, but I'm only going to do one for now. Let's go up to UV and choose planar. Open up that option box and I'm going to choose the x-axis and I can also keep the image width height ratio if I want, but we're actually going to unfold this anyways so we can leave that alone and click apply. And just like that, we have uh, the shell separated for us. Now what I want to do is go up to this side. So I'm going to select this face, hold down shift, double click this one, and make sure that those are the only faces selected and I can hit apply again. And now we have those shells separated. All right, let's do the side section next. Let's uh, select this top face, hold down shift, double click this one. This time we're going to do both sides. So I'm going to orbit around to this side, could hold down shift, select that one, and then hold down shift, double click that one, and make sure that those two sides are selected without the top selected. And now we need to change this to the Z axis. Hit apply, and there you go. Apply will basically make a projection. Uh, project will make a projection and close a window. Right. But I'm just gonna move this off to the side, and there's actually two shells there on top of each other, but I'll just leave them um, stacked for now. Next, we want to select this top face, and let's do both at the same time. Select the bottom one as well, hold down shift, select this, and this time, let's change it to the Y axis, and let's, let's hit uh, project to close this window as well. And now, we have all our shells separated. Perfect. Let's go into UV shell mode. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, go to UV shell, select everything, and I'm going to hit unfold here. That unfolds the shells. And I'm going to do a stack and orient as well. Um, you'll see though that some of these shells are um, different sizes. So proportionally, they're not correct. This one is really small compared to this one. But on here, right, they're roughly this, um, the same. So over here, um, they're actually different textile densities. And we'll be fixing those later. But if you want to fix them now, I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm going to close these up. And I'm going to open up the transform tab. And down here, if I were to select this shell and get its text density, you can see that it's 2490 point something, right? And if I select this one and get its text density, it's different. So what I can do is get this text density, grab everything, set it, and now they all have roughly the same text density. And if I were to select this one now and get it, you can see that it's pretty close, right? So we can select all these now. Um, I'm going to just close up this transform uh, tab, open up our other ones again, and maybe just do another stack and orient. There we go. And now let's just scale this down and move it down here somewhere. All right, let's move on to another piece. So go into object mode, going to unisolate our view, and let's do uh, this piece over here. So this piece here, just going to isolate it, looks like this. And um, sometimes it's worth it to try the automatic method to see if it uh, works for us. I'm going to click automatic. And there you go. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, watch out though. Automatic can make it more work to uh, fix things up and um, start merging your shells again. So you have to look out for that. But in this case, it did a pretty good job. I'm going to go into UV shell mode. So I'm holding down that right mouse button, by the way. Just moving this off to the side. These ones are fine. Grabbing these ones as well. These ones are fine. But um, in this window, as I hover over these shells, you can see that this one, this one, and this one could be its own shell. So let's um, sew up some of those edges. So I'm going to hold down the right mouse button to go to edge mode. And over here, I'm going to select this edge. And I can actually do both at the same time. So let's hold down shift, select this one as well. So we have both of those selected. And in this window, let's move and sew those. So hold down shift, right mouse button, move and sew. All right. You can also get to it from up here again. 
Um, great. Let's um, now let's do this piece. I'm gonna go into UV shell, and move this aside though. Now we have this one, and I want to go into edge mode, and over here, um, I want to sew up this edge and this one, and make it one piece. So um, let's grab this edge, hold down shift, select this one. What you can also do as you're working in this window is you can do one at a time and press G to repeat. And sometimes that's fast too. So in this section, let's move and sew this. I'm gonna hold down shift, right mouse button, move and sew. And then I'm gonna select this edge and press G to repeat. There you go. And now let's just um, work on this area. Let's go into UV shell mode and figure out which one these are, right? You can see them highlighting. So we have a shell here and um, over here we have this shell as well. So let's sew this up. We could sew this to the this front area or this back piece if we want. Let's go into edge mode. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, just change it to edge mode. I'm gonna select that edge and might as well do this one as well. I'm gonna hold down shift, select that one, and in this window, let's move and sew that. I'm gonna hold down shift, right mouse button, move and sew. There you go. And now we have these pieces. Um, over here on this shell, let's take a look. We have this one, and you can see that this one here, this um, section in the middle, let's, let me just go to face mode for a second. These three faces extrude in a little bit, and you might want that to unfold a bit better. So let's separate that. So let's go into edge mode. I'm gonna select this edge, which is this one, and now let's cut that edge. And sometimes you'll wanna do that for your shells. So let's go up to here to cut and sew, and you have a cut option. Or what you can do is select this edge and hold down shift, right mouse button, cut. And now if we go into UV shell mode, this has been separated for us, right? And the nice thing is we can even sew this piece in there up to it. So I'm gonna go into edge mode, grab this edge, and do a move and sew. And there you go. That part is separated and it's been uh, merged together. And now we have these shells which are down here. And I'm just gonna go into edge mode. Here we go, just zoom in. And what I wanna do is sew up three of the edges in there. So hang on for a second, having trouble zooming in. I'm gonna select this edge, just frame in on it, and then that way it's um, located a bit better. And then over here, I'm gonna hold down shift and select that one. And then I'm gonna orbit around to here, um, hold down shift and select this one. I wanna leave one of them cut though, cause I want it to um, unfold as well. So in this window, let's move and sew that. Hold down shift, right mouse button, move and sew. And now we have our, our um, that piece um, connected now. Let's go into UV shell mode. So hold down the right mouse button, UV shell, grab everything and let's um, unfold these. So hold down shift, right mouse button, unfold, unfold. And let's also do a stack and orient. We can do this option down here or shift, right mouse button, stack and orient shells. There you go. Let's scale this down and move it off to the side. And now let's unisolate our view and I'm gonna go into object mode and I wanna do this piece next. So this piece, um, we're gonna do a different method Let's isolate it. We're gonna use um, Maya's 3D cut and sew tool. It's down here. Um, the first thing we need to do for this though, um, if we wanna use this tool, is we need a projection. So go to camera base and click that. And now what we have is a, a projection based on what the camera is seeing in this viewport. Here you go. And now let's go into object mode, select it. And I'm gonna choose the 3D cut and sew tool. And I'll show you how this works. If I double click an edge, it'll cut along that edge, right? That edge loop, provided you know you have pretty clean topology with quads. If I hold down control and double click, um, it'll sew that back up. If I click and drag, it'll add cuts along where I'm dragging. And if I hold down control and click and drag, it'll sew that back up. That's all there is to it, very simple. And now what we wanna do is cut and separate where we want our shells to separate. So I'm gonna double click here, double click here, here, and here. And then along this pipe section, just need to zoom in a bit. Along this uh, pipe section, I wanna double click here. And when you double click and 
um, it adds a cut. Usually it stops at the intersection where the next uh, cuts are. So in our case it did, which is awesome. Sometimes it doesn't, so watch out for that. And then over here, what I wanna do is click and drag. So I cut there, so we can separate this side section. And over here on the main body, I want it to uh, unfold along here. So I'm gonna double click there and double click there. And now we have cuts all there and we should ha have everything we need. Let's press Q to go to our select tool. And over in this window, let's go to UV shell mode. There we go. And now as, as I hover over these, you can see that they're separate. So if I were to select one of these and move it, it's all separated for us. And now what we can do is select everything and unfold these. Click unfold and there you go, it's unfolded. And then what we wanna do is um, maybe um, separate these a bit to make sure that they're properly cut and separated. So what I usually do when I'm using this method is I'll do a stack and orient and then I'll unstack them. So I can see whether the shells have been um, properly cut. Um, you can see that they are, but this shell, if you look, could be a little bit straighter. And what we can do is strain these UVs. So when you have edges running pretty cleanly, horizontally and vertically, you can strain these UVs. Just like click this button here, and you can see now that it's straight. Awesome. Let's select everything. I'll leave it as is, and I'll just scale it down and move it off to the side somewhere down here. Uh, let's go into object mode again, and we're going to unisolate our view. And we have um, this piece here. Let's do the same method for this one, just to get a bit of practice. Um, let's isolate it, and here we go. Let's do um, first our projection. Let's go to UV, camera base. Now we have our projection. Let's go into object mode. We'll grab our tool. The last tool we used was the 3D cut and sew tool, so it's over here. Let's select it, and now let's add some cuts. So I'm gonna double click here, double click here, you can see how fast and powerful this tool is. It's one of my favorite tools in Maya, to tell you the truth. I'm gonna double click here. I'm gonna separate here as well. And at this front section, I want it to separate right here, so I'm going to double click there. And over here, I need it to separate here and here. And then we need to separate those side sections as well. So over here, I need to click and drag here, click and drag here and also over here and here. There we go. We have all our cuts that, all the cuts that we need now. So let's press Q to go to our select tool first. In this window, hold down the right mouse button to go to UV shell. Let's select everything. And now what we wanna do is unfold these. So your unfold option is here, or hold down shift, right mouse button, unfold and unfold. And now let's do our stack and orient and unstack, just to make sure that they're properly separated and they look great. This shell could be a bit straighter, so let's select it and strain those UVs. There we go. And now I'm just going to select everything and just move it down here somewhere and scale it down. So, all right, doing pretty good. Let's see if we can do the hose real quickly. So I'm gonna unisolate our view and down here we have our hose. So I'm going to select it. And again, let's um, isolate it. And we have a few faces at the top of the hose that we don't need, so let's get rid of them. Let's go into face mode. And I'm gonna hold down the tab key, do a drag select here, and a drag select here as well. And let's delete these faces. And now what I wanna do is go into object mode, grab our tool. Actually, we need to do our projection first. So here we go. Go to UV, uh, camera base. And now let's go into object mode, grab our tool, and I wanna put a cut right along the back here. So I'm gonna double click there. Now we have our seam, and let's press Q to go to our select tool. And in this window, let's go into UV shell mode, and we'll do our unfold. First we need to select it, do our unfold, and there you go, it's pretty much done. And then we can strain these UVs as well. And there, really easy, probably looked more complicated than it was, but now we can just move it off to the side somewhere and we're pretty much done getting up there for time. So what we'll do is we'll wrap up this tutorial and I'm gonna go up here to file, increment and save. And in the next part, we'll uh, UV unwrap the rest of the gas pump. So we'll see you guys then.